Hello and welcome to uh, a big reveal video here on my channel. This time I am looking at the improvements I've been making to my Eddie Stobart depot here on my model layout. Um, not much at the entrance area changed, although you might notice there's some little concrete bollards in front of the uh, security hut there. Now the old rickety fence, now that's stayed, I haven't replaced that yet, because uh, I quite like that fence. Uh, behind that you can see that the car park is still there, although it has changed slightly. And we now also have a smoking shelter in there. The parking for the lorries, we, uh, well, trailers, we now have nine bays for the trailers. There was ten, but of course the car park takes up one. So there's nine, and then in front of that we have pedestrian walkways. And if it looks a little bit uh, mismatched with grey, like we've got a grey patch to the right of the screen there, near that blue car, uh, that's because it look like I've done uh, pothole uh, repairs and you can also see, I don't know if it's picking it up in there we have a grate that's from Model Scenic Railways I think that's the or Model Railway Scenery that's the name of the sorry if the camera got a bit shaky there to look away We've also got more pedestrian walkways there. Right, and then a big net, big bit of change here that you can probably see is we've got a um, little footpath area. And then we've got a huge area that's been resurfaced and we've got a new giveaway thing for cars exiting. We then we've got a new sign for the safety regulations and not as big as the other one and it's not like the other one which was the traffic light this is based on one that's at another depot that I've been to and it hasn't got traffic lights but of course it's been edited to say East Greens depot of course because the depot I've changed its name from Donington Road to East Greens because it is in the village of East Greens that's what my layout's called but of course it's, it does still sit on Donington Road just getting rid of the Donington Road name on the depot. Don't know if the van will move in the van up pick that up. We've got um, a little grate there as well. And a bit further to the right there's another grate there as well. Uh, the lorry parking. There's uh, six bays along here and there's a one at the end as well. Now, and they've had a little bit of a revamp. Mainly they've got a little concrete thing that stops them reversing too far now. And they've also got the walkway all the way in front. So, moving round. Trying to get the uh, cable on the camera caught. Now the car park here in the uh, office area will also add a little bit of a revamp both sides. Uh, has been relined. Disabled bays move from in the corner to the entrance area now. So here's another little view of the uh, truck parking area. And if it will zoom in, got a little sign there. Oh. A little sign there that tells you which lady you need to be in for fuel and then for loading and parking. Or something new that I haven't done before. And then move up there, we've got a brand new goods office sign. And the forklift bay has also been slightly revamped. So, 
this is the other end now um, where that white unit is which is a decom unit uh, that is the now seventh bay for tractor parking yeah, and we've also got as you can see here more of these pedestrian walkways all the markings have been done up slightly or and some are brand new done with the other way which is them stickers which I showed you when I was doing the model off series but some of them are the other way which is the pen just because not all of them needed fully updating this area has been slightly done up we've got the uh, new tarmac down the um, wash patched up um, the uh, fuel pumps have also been done up slightly with some fresh paving stones shoved on them and a little light box added out front as well we also have a little sign don't think the wording's quite right to the ones I've made before but it's the same principle that idling costs money and I have got the picture right there on it so that's one thing now at the fuel store I took a picture of my model bus depot's fuel tank and took that and stuck it on the top of this little building here area so it looks like you go over the top of this wall and it is just a tank inside and out front I have sort of an attempt at making um, things that the hoses clip into off a tanker it also means now that the tanker has to go in forwards to unload fuel and then when it's not unloading fuel it can park in that bay properly We've also now got Cherry down here because she's not needed, she's done all her duties. There's some of uh, them white lines that are dotted around there. We've got another one of them signs added over there as well, so it now makes that sign double backed because I think the sign on the other side is the correct wording, but it's still good. Uh, the Lorries inside my glass house have had a little bit of a move round. The new one's been shoved near the window and the old one's at the back now. And we've also got, just in front of the window, uh, a trench drain added. Don't know if whether that's going to be picking that up or not. A little line there. Oh, I'm getting caught on cherry with me. Strap that's securely holding my camera. So that's the revamp done. And as we can see, that little island and stuff added. There's uh, all the walkways go everywhere. Connect to one from one side of the building to the other, and then they connect to the glass house building. And I haven't put any around the maintenance because. I didn't really think it was necessary because real life depots don't really have them near their maintenance yards either. Although I did add with not with my pen I run out of the yellow stuff I had printed. And it won't worth printing a little bit. So I just did a little bit there outside the door for the maintenance where the little office is there. <laughs> 